Here's our safety tip of the week on housekeeping, specifically grain handling. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration's Grain Handling Standard, 29 CFR 1910.272, sets strict housekeeping requirements to prevent primary and secondary explosions within grain handling facilities. OSHA requires that grain handling facilities develop written housekeeping programs to establish the methods and frequency for removing fugitive grain dust on ledges, floors, equipment, and exposed surfaces. Fugitive grain dust accumulations exceeding an eighth of an inch in priority areas must re be removed immediately. This includes areas within 35 feet of inside bucket elevators, enclosed floor areas containing grinding equipment, and enclosed floor areas that contain grain dryers inside the facility. Inside bucket elevator means bucket elevator that has the boot and more than 20% of the total leg height above grade or ground level inside the grain elevator structure. It's important to focus housekeeping efforts on dust that settles in hard to reach areas such as walls, ledges, upper surfaces, etc. Consider using long handle tools, properly erected scaffolding, or installing additional work platforms to access these areas. While not as effective as brooms and shovels, the use of compressed air or blowdown is a common practice in some grain handling facilities. Using compressed air for cleaning can dangerously place fugitive dust into suspension. Consequently, when using compressed air, follow a few simple guidelines. All machinery presenting a potential ignition source hazard must be shut down, and any other potential ignition sources must be removed or controlled. The use of a blowdown permit can help ensure that adequate precautions are taken. And grain handling facilities are never too clean. Routinely inspect and clean priority areas, especially those hard to reach surfaces. These efforts will reduce the potential for deadly secondary explosions greatly.